hello everyone or welcome back to my channel this video is just going to be a little video hopefully a really short quick one about how you can make 2024 your best ever year yeah i have got one very similar to this which is about prompts to make 2024 your best year about how you can make 2024 your best year but i've got some more ideas and i thought i'd just share them because i am in the mood to talk this is everything that i'm gonna do to try and make my 2024 my best year ever so you can take some tips if you want you can write some down you could not it's up to you or you can just listen pop me on in the background to give you a little bit of a mental well-being boost while you're doing some cleaning some cooking some washing entirely your choice here we go the first thing i am gonna do to make 2024 my best ever year is to clutter physically i have so much clutter and if you've seen any of my cleaning videos you guys know i have got so much stuff and i just don't need it i've already started by getting rid of some stuff but i am gonna go through everything i own and if i don't use it or i don't want it or i don't like it or it doesn't fit i'm getting rid of it i don't need it anymore i don't need all that clutter in my life it makes my brain feel cluttered having a nice clean empty space makes me feel at home it makes me feel at peace and it makes me feel happy and calm so being in a room full of stuff where everything is going on at once and there's just stuff everywhere there's nowhere to even sit down it makes me stressed it makes me uncomfortable and i'm gonna try and sort that out by decluttering and i think that's gonna just make me feel better i'm starting the new year with a clean slate i've got space now to buy new stuff i've got space now for the new year you have space now for the new year to welcome it in another one is gonna be declutter digitally i never go through my photos i have got so many selfies that i literally haven't even gone through and they're like all the exact same photo because i can't just take one i need to take 50 i need to go through all of them and delete i need to go through all of my really old videos and delete i need to go through my old shorts if i'm not gonna post it i need to delete it i have got like fifteen thousand photos in my camera roll and i don't need that all it means is that i can't find the ones i actually really want to i'm gonna go through i'm gonna get rid of them same with my notes same with my emails same with my youtube notifications i am gonna get rid of everything that i don't need i'm gonna get rid of everything that doesn't make me feel happy all of the hate comments i'm gonna delete them because they just make me feel sad all of the old notes that i have for my degree i don't need I'm gonna get rid. Anything that possibly mentioned the salon where I worked at, I am gonna get rid of all of that because that just makes me feel sad every time I see it. It just makes me feel upset. I don't need that energy with me. I've got photos of my puppy who died and I'm not gonna delete them forever not a chance but i'm thinking i might take them off my new phone and put them onto my old one because i don't need to see that i don't need that constant reminder i think about him often enough and i don't need when your phone gives you random photos and memories i don't need to see him every single day because that just again that makes me feel sad it makes me feel mournful and i don't need that so i'm gonna go through i'm gonna declutter physically i'm gonna declutter my phone declutter digitally and then already i'm gonna feel in such a better mood because i'm gonna feel cleaner i'm gonna feel in a better headspace i'm gonna feel calmer i'm gonna feel relaxed and i'm gonna be feel ready for the new year even my spotify playlist i'm gonna go through them if i don't like a song anymore i'm gonna remove it from my playlist i'm gonna make new playlists new songs come out all the time my tastes change all the time so whenever i put on all playlists at the moment i'm just skipping 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 i need to stop that i need to make new playlists get rid of the old in with the new I am a new person to what I was last year and she's a different person to what I was the year before. So why would I be out here listening to someone else's music? No, I'm gonna clear out all the old and bring in all the new. Everything I love now is going on my phone. Everything that I don't anymore is gone, it's deleted it's by it's in the past and going alongside that i'm gonna tidy i'm gonna clean because as i said if my room is messy and dirty and full of crap that makes me feel all of that stuff internally i feel messy i feel dirty i feel crap i don't want to feel that way i want to feel peaceful calm i want to feel all of these nice calming positive emotions so i'm gonna have that reflected in my space because unfortunately your surroundings they tend to affect your internal and we don't want them negatively affecting us. Just make sure that your room and your living room, your kitchen, your house, your space, your environment reflects who you are as a person and who you want to be. It's not full of 
hate. It's not full of photos of your ex who you missed. It's not full of interviews that you didn't get. It's not full of, of missed opportunities or missed moments. It's full of the future. The past is gone, you can't change it. Make sure your environment is full only of the future and the things that you want to accomplish rather than things that you didn't. Going along with that, make a mood board and a Pinterest board. Select a photo for every single month in 2024. What do you want that month to look like? What do you want it to be like? What do you want it to include? Make sure that your photo for that month reflects exactly who you are and who you want to be for that month. For example, my one for March would be a photo of the Colosseum because I am going to Rome and I am so excited. My photo for February might be a car because I'm wanting to drive. I'm gonna learn to drive this year. That is like my New Year's resolution. My photo for April might be like a gorgeous head of hair because I'm learning to do hair professionally. I'm getting my qualification this year. I am going to make sure that there's one photo for every single month this year that is like a little goal, a mini goal, something that I want to send to my month around. And then it keeps you on track as well because you can write all these new year's resolutions and then halfway through january or february you've completely forgot them and you didn't even remember that you wanted to start pilates or you wanted to start a keto diet you forgot because you didn't do it straight away or because you didn't enjoy it having these photos will keep you on track and make sure that you achieve everything you want to achieve this year another one i sort of touched on this in my other video of the prompts what are five things you are proud of that you accomplished in 2023 write them out write a list put it on your wall every time you think that you're worthless you're not good at anything nothing happens for you you look at this list and you realize that actually everything happens for you you get exactly what you want you got everything you set out to last year why would you not this year or if you didn't get everything that you wanted to last year make sure that you do this year put it right you only have a certain amount of time let's make sure that that time is well spent doing everything that you want to do five things that you are proud of for 2023 another five things that you want to accomplish in 2024 write them out put them side by side you will do them if you look at something every single day your subconscious soaks it in you start to think about it often and dream about it even it's always on your mind and that all means that you do it if you for example are asked to do the dishes is that going to be on your mind probably not you've got bigger things you've got bigger fish to fry so then you forget whereas if you're asked six times and you have little notes everywhere asking you to do the dishes and you've got memos and voice notes and everything on your phone telling you to do the dishes you're gonna do them because you are surrounded by it you can't escape it you can't forget it you have to do it that is what i want your goals to be like this year you are going to be absolutely surrounded by them so you physically cannot forget them so you achieve them you're not going to let anything get in the way this year of your happiness and what you want to do what you want to achieve you're going to achieve it because you are capable and you are amazing and you are accomplished you can accomplish anything that you want so accomplish it i'm just going to say that remember you have grown so much as a person in 2023 you have grown throughout like, your entire life every single month every single week every single year you are constantly growing and evolving and that is an amazing beautiful thing never underestimate yourself because you are perfect just the way you are god made you like this for a reason and even if you don't think you are because i mean i don't sometimes i'm impatient sometimes i'm moody i am not perfect but i am the way that i am for a reason and people love me despite my flaws it is the same for you you are loved you are cherished you are cared for try to remember that try to see yourself through other people's eyes try to see yourself the way that other people see you if ever you're having a down day and think actually you know what i can do this whatever it is i want to do i can can do it because you can look at the list of everything you accomplished last year you did achieve it everything you wanted that you went for you got so why would it not be the same this year it will be simple as that remember that you are literally unique you are the only you in the entire world you are the only you that there has ever been or ever will be so you are amazing you are special don't put yourself down don't sell yourself short you're perfect you're amazing you're beautiful and i love you i hope that you love yourself so everything that you want to do this year I hope that you do it. I hope you achieve everything that you want to achieve. I hope that 2024 is absolutely your year. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!